Hey, what's up? Lightbook Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2016 Netflix original action film, True Memoirs of an International Assassin. I'm going to go down my list of characters, uh, actors, playing characters. Jeff Badlow uh, directed this. Kevin James is Sam Larson slash Mason Carver. Uh, Kim Coates is in this. Maurice Com Comte. I'm going to be butchering names. I apologize. Zule Hanau, Andrew Howard, Ron R Rifkin, Yul Vasquez, PJ Barron. Uh, and a bunch of other people. I, I love Maurice in this. Maurice Comte. He, um, he's an awesome actor, so it was nice to see him doing more, you know, assassin stuff. So, Kevin plays this character, his name is Sam, um, who is a writer. And he is writing this character of Mason, who's an international assassin, who's going by the name of Ghost. But all of these assassination stories are loosely based off of his old friend Amos's war stories but he was you know just a guy in the military he didn't really have that that big of a role turns out he was actually the ghost the entire time so kevin is then he he gets his book published um he is then kidnapped brought to venezuela by this you know uh mercenary assassin type leader called el toro el toro's second hand in command is juan who is played by maurice who we just talked about um they're trying to kill this Russian drug dealer who lives in Venezuela. And uh, I'm sorry, correction. El Toro wants the president dead. Um, but in the process, the president wants the Russian drug lord dead. And what was his name? Something with an M. Uh, I can't. I can't read it. Michael. General Hamilton Rosen. Juan. Or Trent gone i can't it's gone i don't know where it went Cueto? no not miguel anton oh anton there you go masovich masovich so el toro masovich have issues el toro and the president have issues the president and masovich have issues so it's a corrupt government in venezuela the people want an up a revolution right what we're seeing in america currently actually so with kevin james's character being abducted to have to kill one or three of these people. Very entertaining because he keeps getting abducted and bargained with to kill another person. Everybody thinks he's actually the ghost because True Memoirs of an International Assassin is a best-selling non-fiction book. Even though it is fiction, the publisher just tweaked it and put True Memoirs instead of Memoirs of an International Assassin because no one's going to read fiction. They're going to read non-fiction. So it's funny how that worked. He befriends this this character Rosa. She, her, and 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 uh, Sam and Rosa are off trying to get dirt on the president, who winds up then eventually killing himself. But then uh, Masovich is killed in the process, and the general is killed in the process, and then eventually El Toro is killed there via helicopter, and then Amos saves the day because he's the ghost the entire time. So it's very entertaining and it's super quick. It's an hour and thirty eight minutes long. It is just such a fun action packed adventure film that's shot in Venezuela and it's so awesome that it's on scene. My favorite aspect of this movie is the fact that it takes all of these pop songs but sp spanishes them. So uh, should I stay or should I go, right? Um, it's just straight up Spanish lyrics. It's no no English in it. Um, a bunch of other a bunch of other songs like that. There was a Taylor Swift song I think that uh, that was in Masovich's mansion which then was just the Spanish version. So I liked that. I liked having that cultural kind of um, interpretation, bringing the two worlds together. I thought that was pretty neat. I don't know why people don't talk about this movie from four years ago. I remember when this first came out on Netflix and people were starting to talk about it and everyone was, was like, ah, it's all right for, for a Netflix film. But this is a pretty great movie regardless of who made it. So I don't know. I don't know why it got so much slack. Flack? Slacky flack. Flack. We'll go with that. Or flack. Nah. Flack. Sounds a little better. Yeah. So, I love this movie. The helicopter scene is very reminiscent to 2015 Spy with Melissa McCarthy and uh, Jason Statham. Forever being my all-time favorite action film. I've said this numerous times. It is the, one of the funniest movies ever that I've mentioned as well. I, I can't stop praising Spy, but a lot of this movie had that kind of flair to it but of course what kind of action movie in a in an international setting would it be without some you know helicopter crashing scene it's a spy movie it's an assassination movie it's good 
It's good. F it's it's not family fun, but it's good fun. It's good friendly fun. I like it. We'll keep it. <laughs> That's all I got. Which <laughs> mahalo.